Good morning, ESM. Did you miss us? We sure missed you. I did, but. Well, on that note, we're gonna kick it to whoa, new. Whoa, 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 whoa. We haven't even told them what today's show is about. Oh, well, I've been figured like using context clues from the past few shows this week. And if they were being involved, wink, wink, that they would know what today's show is about. John, do you even know what today's show is about? Yeah, of course I do. It's about like, like pride stuff. You right? know what? Close enough. Now let's head to news before you hurt yourself or something. Apple's, I Apple's iOS 14.8 Pegasus security fix all iPhone users urged to update immediately. At 4.30 a.m. Wednesday, a car crashed into the Syracuse Han Hancock International Airport fuel tanks, killing two people. The cause of the crash is still under investigation. Last Thursday evening, reports in a video and video evidence show that a man has kicked a woman down an escalator in Atlantic of Barsley Center Station, a typical bus stop in Brooklyn, New York. The video shows no one helping this woman as she's tumbling down the escalator at full force. The fall has resulted in several injuries, including multiple cuts and bruises on her back, arms, and legs, and trauma to her left ankle. Police are still looking for the man. He has not been yet identified. Broadway is coming back to Syracuse. Opening this fall live theater will be on stage. The Landmark Theater will host five of the six national touring shows. Shows like Cats, Tootsie, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory will be performed soon at, Broadway, at Syracuse Broadway. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Class of 2023 advisors would like to invite the juniors to join the Google Classroom. The code is SGVM2V5. Once again, that's SGVM2V5. So like John kind of said, today's show is about Pride Week. Specifically the I in Pride. Uh, which of course stands for involvement. And Luke, would you mind telling us what involvement means? Sure. Involvement, as defined in the dictionary, is the fact or condition of being involved with or participating in something. And for my people that don't speak dictionary, basically that means doing things and going to things. Right. So Luke, what are some ways people at school can get more involved? Well, there's always sporting events, schools, dances, and fundraisers. There's after school clubs, theater, and all kinds of stuff. Even just posting something on social media, supporting the school counts. Very cool. Well, after weather, we'll be back with some of our favorite ways to get involved. Abby, how's the weather looking over there? Many didn't need an alarm clock today, and a storm moved through Syracuse around 5.50 to 6 a.m. For the rest of today, predict it to be muggy with showers. There will be a high of 75 and a low of 57 degrees. Tomorrow will be nicer than today with, with a chance of 79 and a low of 63. Friday, there will be a few storms during the second half of the, there will be a high of 82 and a low of, I'm Abby Wilcox with your weather. John, you want to start us off with your favorite ways to get involved? Well, I mean, want is a strong word, but yeah, sure, I guess I'll start it. Um, I like to get involved in lots of clubs and sports, like uh, DECA Video Club, Morning Show. I could have guessed that one, but. I'm mean, ignoring you because you're mean. Uh, anyways, I'm also involved, wink, wink, in uh, cross country, outdoor track, theater, and winter, and I'm part of the school store. Lots of, lots of fun stuff. Sounds like fun, man, yeah. Oh yeah, loads of fun. Well, now it's your turn, Luke. 
Let's hear about your involvement at ESM. Well, since I can't play football this year, I get to help record the games for a film that the team uses later. I also do some other sports, and I'm hoping to be involved in some clubs soon, and you guessed it, the morning show. Yeah, sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, big fun. <laughs> well, if you ever think for any reason whatsoever, like at all, that there is nothing for you to get involved in at ESM, I think that you're wrong. Now we're going to head over to sports with us. Whoa. The tennis team defeated Oswego 7-0 to improve their record to 3-3. Three three. Winning were singles players, <laughs> hey Mr. McSweeney, Brooke Kirkpatrick, Lizzie Phillips, and Anna Bird. Winning for the doubles teams were the doubles partners of Jesse Baker and Annalena Baxter, Rhiannon Axman and Bella Sylvester, Tariah Bauer, sorry, I do Tara Bauer. Tara Bauer, <laughs> thank you. Gianna Bobrek and Abby Kane and Emily Renan. The gymnastics team lost to New Hartford last night, 138 to 128. Rhiannon Butchko and Kaylee Montana took the top places in the all-run for ESM. Rhiannon took an impressive second place on the floor with a score of 9.0, and Anna Padawano scored a 7.6 on the balance beam. The girls' varsity soccer team beat Syracuse 8-0. Jazzle Giselle. Giselle McLean <laughs> with three goals, Leah Rem with two goals and two assists. Angelina Polcaro with one goal and three assists. Jessica Griffith and Natalie Peterson both had a goal, and Natalie had an assist. Haley Amodio and Ashley Praxel both had an assist. The boys soccer team won last night against Fowler 2-1. Alex Conzone scored the first goal assisted by Zach Schufeld, and Zach scored the second goal assisted by Dominic Caruana. The New York Yankees beat the Baltimore Orioles 7-2. Five different Yankees had a home run in last night's win. Aaron Judge and Giancarlo Stanton both had two run blasts last night. In upcoming games, the boys' varsity golf teams have a match at Oswego. The cross-country teams have a meet at home against FM and Central Square. And I'm Luke. And John. With your sports. So Luke's going to give you all a quick recap because I don't really remember what happened in today's show. A little bit of brain fog there, John? Something like that. Right. Anyways, we talked about the I in pride. And give them that dictionary definition you know they love. Involvement as defined by the dictionary again is the fact or condition of being involved or with or participating in something. Music to my ears. Now we talked about the ways you can get involved and the ways me and John already have. Yes, we did. And I th think that covers just about all of it. Well, in that case, from me. Me. And everyone else here at Spartan News, have a great day. And get involved. <laughs>